Hi everyone, you are listening to Hi Wonder. In today's session, we would like to study a new gameplay of zero meter control. So the purpose of this gameplay is to learn about how to use a zero meter. We can pick up QD and shake it quickly from the left to the right. After putting QD down, QD will turn to the left or right. So let's see how it works. We can use the accelerometer to detect the state of motion of QD. If the acceleration of QD to the left is higher, QD will turn to the left. If the acceleration of QD to the right is higher, QD will turn to the right. Now let's come to see the program in details. We can simply drag the accelerometer control hex file to the microbit programming page. So we can see the program right here. At the beginning, we need to initialize the QD first, and then we can come to the forever command. Set x value to acceleration. So this place means that we can get the acceleration value in one of three dimensions, including x, y, and z. So here we choose x, which means the acceleration in the left and right direction. If the x value larger than 600, then we can set the motor 1 speed to 30 and motor 2 speed to 70. That means QD will turn to the right, as well as an arrow shown on its back. If we cannot satisfy this condition, that means if the x value less than negative 600, that means QD will turn to the left, which means the motor 1 speed will be set to 70 and the motor 2 speed will be 30, showing an arrow on its back. So this is the overall explanation for this gameplay. You can also try it by yourself. Now let's come to see the demo video of this gameplay.